This episode is entitled Door Latches. Before I could actually work on the latches, uh, I had to go ahead and make the corrections to the hinges because I had changed the angle to make it on the chassis to make it to true 30 degrees so they now open up like they're supposed to. So we fixed the hinges and then had to go ahead and look at some latches. Uh, other builders have used the Lamborghini OEM latches and those are just a little bit out of my price range. So I came up with some alternatives, uh, basically a trunk, trunk latch that has a cable pull on it and also electronically activated. So those are the that plus I got some pressure sensitive switches that would actually trigger it. So we'll talk about those as well. Had to make a lot of modifications to the doors uh, to actually have them closed, had to make my own latches, but we'll get into all that in this, this episode. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, redoing the door hinges. Uh, now that I got the angle adjusted, I had to put in a little filler piece here and change the angle a little bit here. And hopefully when this is all said and done, my doors will now open at the proper 30 degrees. Since I adjusted the angle to 30 degrees, I have to add a 3 quarter inch uh, plate in there to make it work. Okay, I think I figured out the components I'm going to need for my door locks. Got a pressure sensitive switch here. This is actually a, a trunk latch, but I got that because it has a cable pull on it. So if you press down on pressure lock, it releases the lock. So start working on seeing if I can get that installed. Okay, the existing door skin Lines up very nicely here at the back. I have to work on the gapping a little bit. But if I take the door skin off, this is how the inner door liner matches up. Now I've noticed on some other cars they have a special little covering that goes over that. So I'm going to work and see how I can make this fit. I had to make my own striker plates, so basically took a quarter inch by six inch bolt and used my 20 ton hydraulic press and bent it and then made this. So just have to repeat for the other one. Okay, fabricated bracket, the bolt. catch in. Now I made a bracket so it could be removable if I have trouble getting the body off as I have had in previous ones so I can take these out if I need to. Okay that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay here's the latch assembly. Added this brace here for support. Put lock nuts on the back to hold everything in place. Okay, I got the striker plate in. And it works good. Now, I'm probably going to have to move the striker over a little bit. But I'll put a metal plate on the inside here. But I'll just shift it this way a little bit, which put the door that way a little more. So, one down, one to go. Sometimes it takes a do-over. I made that one, but it just didn't fit right. So I can do it another, can make another mold. That one looks much cleaner. It doesn't have the divot in it like that one did, but I don't really need that. So, take two.
before I can do any internal metal structure for the door, I need to put in door handles. So 3D printed some door handles, got that cut out, and now I'll have to create a fiberglass mold on the inside to hold those in place. Progress. Okay, going to reprint the handles with the hole on top for the pressure sensor. Okay, let's talk about doors again. Got my latches in. The problem was getting this bottom piece to fit in properly. And I cut off pieces of the door to take this off. So I cut this piece off so that I get this in farther to get the latches working. So that works good. So that's nice and solid. Now, this design was based on what I did for the Diablo. Now it's a little different here because the windows actually have to come up past this bar. Now I looked at Steiner's windows, Neil's windows, Dario's door frame, all of them are done a little bit different. So I'm going to have to come up with some support structure in here because I'm going to have to have a mirror mount up here. And then of course the window regulators have to go in here. I don't have windows yet. It's another problem. Um, so this is probably going to get all reshaped and redone. Uh, but that just, doors are probably the most complex part of these builds. So build a car. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> I guess that's part of the challenges and I, I do look forward to solving these issues. But doors, they're the bane of my existence today. Okay, now that I'm all done with this side, I have to rinse, repeat, and do the other side. So now that I know how to do it, hopefully it'll go a little bit smoother. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would, and be sure and turn on your post notifications. Thank you for watching.